Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the finals of FNM here at Nerd Rage Gaming. I'm your host, Andrew Donnelly. With me, my co-host, Matt Hausler. Matt, these two, the, the big, titans of tonight. The big ones, yep. We've got Noah Cohen on that Abzan midrange. We've got Barry Cohen, who we saw earlier playing Esper Control. Yep. Drew with Alex Pressig in round one. Found his way to the and finals, And this is it. Though. They have to play. They cannot draw here. Yep, as, as draws usually go. Noah Cohen. Good on Barry for winning The out. young prodigy. The young pro tour prodigy. That's right. Against uh, a, uh, a formidable opponent, I'd say. Oh, easily. Barry yeah, Cohen. Barry's been playing some good, good magic recently. Yeah. No relation, by the way. Not these at all. two players. <laughs> In no case relation. anyone's curious. But, uh, yeah, okay. So, uh, skill. I think we can rule out as being any sort of edge in this match. I mean, these these players both know how it goes. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm sure they'll play their cards right. Uh, so I guess uh, when we're talking about Abzan versus Esper... Yeah. Hmm. Well, I guess... This is tough. This because is a tough one. Barry plays like a very interesting style of control. This almost tap-out control where it's not yeah. like he's... He's not threatening the board at all. He's definitely it's puts the, threats on the table. Yeah, kind of like a slower build yeah. Esper deck. Uh, but Noah with a deck we all know very well. Mm -hmm. I mean, hmm. One that he's fond of, too. Obviously uh, played it at the Invitational recently. Mm -hmm. uh, enjoyed playing the deck. Has chosen to kind of stick with it. I mean, it's a great deck. It's, it's strong. It's so strong. Very I mean, strong. if you're going to like go all in on a standard deck, yeah. I'd just say pick up Abzan. Whether it's aggro or mid range or control, I mean they're all in their own regards very so good. Noah Cohen here have to mulligan again. Uh, he went from five, or, I'm sorry, six. went from six yeah. down. Looked like it was going to be good, except he was a land short. He drew a siege rhino, drew removal, drew an anafenza, mm -hmm. did not draw the third land he needed to uh, get in out of the gate. Mm -hmm. Well, do we mulligan if we have two lands? Uh, oh. I believe so, unless that. The last card he drew was not a land, and it was in fact a siege rhino. Just rider. something else. Okay. Or I'm sorry, not a siege rhino, a fleece main lion. I, okay. I could have saw that wrong. Then, but yeah. It... One lander, yeah, that's that's not great. So, I mean, Barry might uh, might have his game plan uh, succeed in this game one, just on Noah's Mulda 5 here. But, again, this is not something you can just rely on. Correct. Barry can't uh, just assume because Noah's going to 5 that he is out of this game. Especially with these Abzan decks, I mean, oh, they Noah finds the right five and just starts sieging it while Barry's just tapping out. Yeah. Not great. Yeah, they're very strong. Granted, the mid-range deck hurts a little bit more to the mulligan, uh, but it's still, it's, it's Abzan, so you definitely yeah. have to be careful. Still still viable. I mean, if he if he gets like his Courser out mm -hmm. and starts finding the lands, Correct. and is just right back in it. Just needs a few extra cards. Uh, but again, we'll see. Guys, if you've stayed with us the entire night and are tuning in the finals, I greatly appreciate it. Make sure, though, if you haven't, uh, to follow the channel. It helps us to continue to bring you awesome content and future events that you'd probably like to watch if you'd like this so far. Or, you know, come on down. Oh, yeah, that's always, a, that's always a thing, too. If you're in the Chicagoland area or if we're Nerd Rage Gaming is hosting an event near you, like in Indiana for States, uh, make sure you participate. I will be at Indiana uh, with the other commentator on the crew, Matt Dow. Matthew Robert. And we will be doing some... The other Matt. The other uh, Matt. I guess I'm the other Matt, but... Well, know. it depends on who's sitting next to me, I think. Yeah, tonight I'm the Matt. So we'll see a he fetch here from Barry Cohen. Yep. Both players trading lands in the early turns. Yeah, no finding lands. I mean, yep. pretty impressive for a mold of five. Looks like he's got a Courser, too. It so does. Once he finds that third land, he's good to go. It's something he wants to stick with. We'll see Barry go get a Swamp here. All of his colors unlocked. Yep. Let's just start. Uh, Barry, though, a little more reliant on double blue and double black. True. So he, he will look to get more lands out soon. And that was that was kind of the falter that we saw in Barry's game plan in round one was just the lack of the double colors that he needed. Oh yeah. Here though, he will present double black. Yeah, I think he's. It, it seems like he's going between double black and double blue for sure. Mm -hmm. I don't know if we saw anything that was white heavy. Not so much. Which no. would which would present quite a problem. Yeah. I, I think it's correct to kind of just lean on it at the very most two double colored spells. 
So yeah, Barry with double black. Uh, Noah. I, uh, so I, I don't know if Noah runs out his courser now then. In the in the presentation of a possible hero's downfall. Yeah, I think it's hmm. I think it's too important right now in a mull. I mean, but if Noah doesn't have anything else, I also think it's bad for him to just pass the turn with three mana up. I agree. Because I don't think Barry really cares about anything Noah could have uh, in response. Well, in the, unless Noah's got an Abzan charm, that would be the only reason I think Barry should be concerned. But we'll see yeah, the courser here. So we'll get some information on the top deck. And it's a windswept yeah, so Noah, He has another land uh, on the way. Fairly which is, strong. Which is good. I mean. Gosh, ultimate price. Yep. Can you beat it? Yeah, so Noah, nothing else really to play. Uh, over that courser. Uh, a lot of interaction and a Tassiger. Sure. So I guess I, I do like him playing out the courser then, uh, if he's just guaranteeing a larger yard. Yeah. Uh, man, Barry has had luck hitting these uh, hitting these draws off in our set. Oh, yeah. It's super good. Well, you know, a great majority of your spells will be non-creature. Yes. So, yeah, might as well. So the thing now is, does Noah... How does Noah handle this Narset? Uh, apply pressure to the board. Once again, Barry has to tap out to apply his permanence. Yeah. Uh, and is it taking the time to hold back and kind of run out Noah's hands, as we see most control decks do? Mm -hmm. uh, so now, I think if you're Noah, you have the ability to run out uh, whatever creature you, you have and then make Barry answer down on his turn. I mean, we have to find a way to stop the Narset. Yeah, absolutely. And it looks so. like Tassigar is going to be the chosen creature yeah, to come I, out for Noah. I think it's Noah's only option. Uh, does he not have another creature in hand? I don't believe oh, so. Oh, I thought he had an Anaphensa. I think it's oh, all boy. interaction and Elspeth. Okay. And, yeah, and Tassigar. So, yeah, that's that's Noah's uh, only play, and I agree with it in that case. So, uh, As you said, we need pressure on the board. We need something. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this is an R set can't really uh, ultimate, I don't think. I don't think that's a good time for us. I, I also don't like it getting extra believe. turns to plus. Agreed. Yeah. That's that's something we've learned from round one when we saw uh, Barry Cohen play. Yeah. So. I, yeah. Like. Okay. So I don't believe it. I don't believe Barry ultimates it when he gets the chance. No? I think he's just upticking, uh, just to get more cards. Yeah. Uh, if he finds something juicy enough to minus, uh, to get rebound, I, I'm more on that line. So see, once again, very yeah. dangerous for just, Barry to kind of tap yeah, down low here. Yeah. I mean. I don't, is there a reason why he's not doing it during Noah's turn? Yeah, that's that's what I'm I'm little I, I don't know if he doesn't want Noah to untap to activate Tassiger. Okay. So that's fair then. Noah uh, going up to twenty one. Barry going down to sixteen after the siege right now. Yeah, very uh, misleading life totals for uh, what's kind of developing during this game. Thank you, uh there Turge, for the follow. Yeah, welcome to the uh display of the Two best decks uh, at this yeah. Nerd at Rage Gaming Friday Night Magic. So this far. is this is it. This is uh, your this almost, is kind of your standard. Almost format. set in the meta, but I don't, I don't know. I, Abzan probably. So now here's a dangerous card for Siege Rhino. We've got Ojutai now to protect and the we, and we find a dissolve too. Oh man! But we are tapped out. So so once again, like like I said, this tap out control style is very dangerous. I You're feel not a fan. No, I'm not personally because I think. if I'm playing control, I like to play things on my opponent's turn. Yeah. Unless I know it's a card that you know needs to uh, be forced out, like a planeswalker, nor set in this situation. Mm -hmm. uh, Noah's going to attack. Barry trying to figure out if he's going to let the damage go through to the nar set, as Noah has indicated that it will not go to his face. Yeah. Yeah. Again, uh, I don't think Barry's interested in having this Narset ultimate, I think, if he just keeps upticking it, sure. and he's going to wait for the right juncture for to, to uh, minus it. Okay. And that's going to be for something like a uh, draw card spell. Sure. Um, probably not a removal when Noah's only playing creature by creature, Barry having all the answers to him. So I think once Barry rips that really like juicy draw spell, he's just going to have Narset go crazy. Yeah, and I, I like this. This is another reason Dragonlord or Jutai really piques my interest. Uh, being able to get in for a, a fairly substantial amount of damage, yep, and then allowing you to have this almost free anticipate is super good. Yeah, it's pr it's really rough. Man, if we had something to untap him, 
I mean, there are a lot of plays we could set up. That'd be uh, nice. So Barry checking his land here. Just kind of ascendancy. Yep. That does the trick. There's an utter end targeting the siege rhino. Yeah. So why? Are, okay. So uh, once again, I I don't understand why we're casting a lot of these instant spells. Yeah. Uh, on our turn, uh, because that will be a Dromoka's command. So and yeah, siege rhino is going to fight. Just wants to fight, and sure enough, Barry. And that will be a counter spell. No, sorry. I had to. Noah had. No had knowledge of the counter spell. He did. In his hand? Yeah, it was a reveal. So is he trying, I wonder, to rip it out uh, so that he has the ability to play this Elspeth on time? Uh, 100%. Yeah. yeah. Oh, definitely, since he's sitting on two. Yeah. Oh, I didn't realize that. Oh, man. So he has to land this thing. Yeah. The Jutai is going to make that difficult, though. Uh, yeah, it is It is pressuring Noah more than uh, I'm sure he'd like right now. I mean, it, it's, it's, not, it's not even just the... I feel like the damage, it's just the fact that Barry is essentially getting a card every time he attacks. Yeah. Which is super good. Also, usually getting a card off Narset, too. It's yeah. It's just... Especially when a player mulls to five, and then you're the control deck who's just, alright, well, I'll draw more cards. So here we might mm. see a minus, like you said, from Narset. Uh, Barry checking his yard yeah, to see whether or not this dig is worth it. Yep. So this will be a minus. Next spell, Barry Cass has rebound. Which will, which is looking like a dig through time. It Possibly? might be Treasure Cruise too, though. That's um, that's true. That you know that makes uh, that seems like better value, just because it's already <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, Whoops! <laughs> Noah Cohen got ya. in the face of the rebounding dig through time. No, can you not beat uh, double dig? I mean, that's I, only fourteen cards deep. Plus an anticipate after an Ojutai, and plus another yeah, <laughs> reveal I mean, off Narth. I mean, whatever, dude. <laughs> Come on, man. You still got it. Come on, you got Siege Rhinos, bro. I yeah, heard those cards are good. That was ridiculous. I mean, granted, we do know Noah was on the mulligan, uh, did not have uh, a really sustained board there to fight against. I mean, Dragon Lord Ojutai just keeps impressing. That card yeah, is super I mean, good. Not, not the best uh, game to kind of gauge these two decks. Sure. Just because one of them kind of came slow out of the gate with a multi five. So hopefully Noah can find. So some who do you have sevens. over there? You have Barry, right? I got Barry. Yeah. Okay, why don't we do Barry's first? As he took game one, he did. So Barry, a lot of singletons in this sideboard. Mm -hmm. uh, so we'll go with those first. Sure. One of Dragon Lords Silmgar. One of Icefall Region. One Pearl Lake Ancient. One Dragon Lords Prerogative. One Foul Tongue Invocation. One Virulent Plague. One Silmgar's Command. And then we get to the two ofs, the two negates, two in case in ice and. Four drown in sorrow. Wow, I actually, you know what? In case in ice, not bad here. No, pretty decent. Seems okay. Actually, Dragon Lord Silumgar, slap him in. I'd slap the jaw. I'd take out. I'd take out. Yeah. S first Silumgar. Yeah. Pugface. Oh yeah, I'd Put yeah. in Pugface too. Yeah. That card is just amazing. Here. This card, the in this matchup, yeah, definitely a little upgrade. Uh, I'll take your Elspeth or your Siege Rhino. That's the thing. Barry didn't even see Elspeth. So yeah. if Noah keeps them in. And Barry happens to land, a, like Which, if no, Noah on the play lands an Elspeth and makes tokens and then Barry Dragon Lord Silumgars and yeah. takes his, I mean, that seems super good. Just disgusting. Uh, but, I mean, yeah, I think anything Noah offers up is pretty viable target for Dragon Lord Silumgar. Mm -hmm. I mean, Agreed. even taking a Courser, just like, why not? Uh, also, I think, uh, what are, how do we feel about Icefall Regent? Just as another dragon... And yeah. something that makes it hard could for just lock down Noah's board. Yeah, I actually like that plan. If you if you want to play that plan, I'm all for it. If you want to play the Encase in Ice, Dragon Lord Silmgar, Icefall Regent, and then we could bring in Dragon Lord's Prerogative, yep. probably side out a cruise or a dig through time, yep. and then play this plan that we're gonna uh, lock Noah down and then kind of control him. Mm -hmm. I'm a hundred percent for that plan. I'll, I'll play that all day long. Yeah, I'm, um, I'm a fan. I like that type of stuff. I like that play. Okay. So I'm I'm cool with Icefall Regent. He doesn't give his he doesn't share his ability with other dragons, correct? Um, he does not. Okay. No, he's he's kind of just his own guy, but he is a dragon. So. Yeah. So he he still procs all of our dragon needs. Yep. Clayton, I don't know if Narset is going to go up in price. I mean, the card is good. Uh, yeah, I think it's I think it's pretty well represented where it's at. Yeah. Um, because it it is good, uh, and it is mythic, so it's got a pretty high price point. Yep. Um. But it is a very interesting card for a control deck. Forces a lot of like instant speed spells to yes. be played on the sorcery just because it's minus. Like 
a, a minus to play dig through time mm-hmm. at sorcery speed. Obviously, like totally worth it. Super relevant. It's just like, but it's it's different. Like it kind of demands like a different style of control. I, feel. I agree. I, so I agree. I, it's not like busting any decks or breaking any formats. And I wouldn't say she's necessarily going to go up in price. I agree with Matt that I think she'll stay probably right where she's at. Yeah, I think it's good where it's at right so now. So let's let's check Noah's sideboard here before they kick off game two real quick. He's got two Glare of Heresy, two Drown in Sorrow, one Bio Blight, two Nissa World Waker, one Temple of Silence, two Thoughtseize, two Mastery of the Unseen, and two Duress. If I'm Noah, uh, the Glare of Heresies are coming in, the yep. Thoughtseize are coming in, yep. and I'm probably bringing in Mastery of the Unseen. I would bring in Mastery. Uh, if, if you're not bringing Mastery, yep. you're bringing in the Duress. I don't, you know what I mean? I'd but, bring them both in. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. Mastery of the Unseen, super hard card for Barry to really answer yep. or deal with. He has to have Counter Magic up that early, which I can guarantee you he will not. Yeah. And it just gives us a way to make creatures that he has to deal with. We haven't seen a lot of board wipes from Barry either. We know he runs the Crux of Fates. Yeah. But even then, in, in the face of Mastery Unseen, the Crux isn't that great. No, it's just, they just come back. Um, and I believe Noah also running Whisperwood Elemental. In the main. In the main, yeah. yeah. So, just another... I mean, that by itself is also another good card. Uh, but if he's, like, manifesting it... So we can see Noah doesn't look like he's happy with his hand. Uh, I see he did bring in the Nissas. He also has a Courser. But I yeah, don't... so I don't know how I feel about Nissa in uh, this matchup. It's interesting. It's diversified threats, but Barry's got a lot of removal. He does. Yeah. He has a ton of removal, and you don't want to fall behind on land, especially in a deck that requires you to have three colors yeah. uh, very soon. And then they just die. Yeah, it's not ideal. But it is... I mean, it is a card. It's a card that, well, it's a card that makes bodies. It's just like Mastery of the Unseen, right? Yeah. It's, it's, making, it's making additional bodies for us, and that's kind of what we want. Yeah, like, arguably a little bit better than, say, like, a, a stacked removal suite. Sure. Like, I think Noah keeps in a little bit of removal. But not too much. But not, yeah. Nowhere near as much as his main deck probably has. Um, but yeah, I like your plan. I, I like seizing and duressing and mastering. Like, mm-hmm. I like an early start, which it doesn't look like Noah has. But, I mean, we'll see. The problem is, is Barry kind of went with the plan we were talking about, this uh, this more encase in ice, kind of icefall region control with mm-hmm. these dragons. Uh, it's going to be a pretty big slugfest if Noah decided to take the way of the Just Nissas in the long game yeah. yeah yeah I mean it'll it'll definitely turn into yeah, a I think, uh, I think that favors Barry just a little bit I, I would say so yeah so but Noah on the draw gonna lead with a scry keeps it on top so I have to imagine they'll just trade lanes here fairly early as it looks like Barry much happier with his six gonna check his scry and leave it on top so that's got to be a good sign for him Boy, and this is yeah. watching a game like this, you Noah, can kind of see. Yeah, Noah with a lot of five. Sure. Five drops. And a six drop in Elspeth. So, Epic Man. I mean, he's, he's playing the long game. He is. He wants to go long. Epic Man's joined the clan, baby. He wants to be part of it. Welcome, Epic Man. Welcome to the group, bud. Thanks for tuning in. Welcome to the Clash of the Titans. So, this is a card I like. I like this. I like the Fleeceman card. Oh, yeah. Here. I mean, this. I mean, arguably not a whole lot to follow up yeah. afterwards, but if this Fleece Mane sticks around, it could definitely be a problem. Especially Barry, once again. So he's, again, got to kind of like diversify his mana between blue and black early. And so now this kind of like... Okay, so he's got in case. Good, so, good we're start. Do- so we're doing it. Yep, we're- absolutely. Like we said, good early... Good early answer. The interesting thing, though, targeting the Fleece Man with Encase, because if I'm correct, doesn't the Fleece Man gain Hexproof when it's monstrous? Yeah. But if it's already got Nora attached to it. Very true. Yeah, yes. They, I forgot. They they have under. made Hexproof not like... Yeah, it's... Correct. It's not protection. It yeah, is not just, protection. Can't do any future damage to it, but it's tapped down, so... Yeah, so... Noah kind of played right into it, too, with... I think seeing the early fleece main, yeah. thinking, all right, maybe this will do something, but, you know, Barry's ready. So what does Barry have available to him now? We see a Courser with an Anafenza. So he has eyes on the fact that Noah is drawing into creatures. How far down the hole do we really want to go? Barry going to go to 18 after the fetch. Finds himself a land. We have all colors available to us. Yeah. Double blue, double black. Double white. 
Double white if we need it. Not a thing, but not a thing we've seen at least, so. Boy, that hidden dragon slayer, though. <laughs> not double white, though, you said, right? It's What's not. it more for? Uh, white one? Well, I think it's a little bit more. Yeah. It's just I think it's three. Okay. Because the megamorphs are usually a little more expensive. So, here comes the Narset for Barry Cohen. Jesus. And, I mean, this thing is timely. Uh, yeah. He's going to take a look on top. Yeah, he's always playing it on the four, which initially I think a lot of people thought Narset's not something you necessarily want to play on the four. Mm-hmm. But I see no reason. Huge why not butt though for a planeswalker. It's doing come on, it's man. It's doing just fine. Yeah, thing's got a thing's got a giant booty. Yeah, a lot of a lot of devotion or uh, loyalty. Ooh. Yeah. To... So now we see a Soren for Noah, and this is a card just... I think is super good against a deck like Barry's. Uh yeah, I would agree. So uh, Noah's in the clear here to cast this Nissa. Uh, I'm not entirely sure that's the line I take. Really. No, because we get no value off of a land becoming a 4-4. Four, four. Okay. Uh, especially if Barry just kills it. So, we're going to go to Barry's Dome. Noah's done dealing with uh, the Planeswalker. Yeah, again, a lot of people just, at least from what we've seen, they they seem to just be like, okay, I'm just going to go around it. And, like, if he has, like, a downfall, it makes sense. Sure. Um, but, like, I don't know. I, I do think it's a threat. That you can't just let uptick and uptick and uptick. Well, yeah, we saw that in game one. It like, was just, just can, nutty. Because eventually you just find that, that dig or that treasure cruise, and man, good luck. No up to 22 off the fetch in Courser. Oh, you guys are the nerd herd, but the nerd herd is is the, the group of guys that comes in to the shop. So the the group of followers that we have on Twitch here, they're the clan. They're, yeah. the, uh, they're the guys who are, uh, you know... The outriders, yeah, if the, you will. The, yeah. So we'll see a cut. I'm excited to see what Noah chooses here as a line. Uh, he, he, oh. optioned, he optioned to get rid Jeez. of that uh, that Soren. Yeah, so. but look what it gets replaced with. Yes, Beth, um, yeah, arguably better. Also good. Yeah. I think he has another in hand, too. So. Okay. Noah's well, sitting kind of pretty. And there is Whisperwood so Elemental. So we're trading the Elspeth here to make a 2-2. Two -two. Interesting. But once again, we're we're accelerating our board state, so now Barry kind of has to deal with what's going on here on this board. Oh yeah, absolutely. So tap out control. Uh, does he what? have? Does he have? Uh, yeah. So he's got a downfall. Yeah, he does. And and this will be sweet. He's going to get double downfall. Interesting. As that will take care of Whisperwood, which I think Noah sacked in response. Yep. Just so Barry didn't kill. So I guess Noah gets a free attack off of that two-two. Uh, yes. Eh, eh, I, I think that's the, the way, right? Yeah. I see an Anna Fenza there. Okay, so... That I'd like to have been manifested instead of an Elspeth. I agree. But, you know, plays out how it plays out. Noah kind of under the gun here. Just wants to deal with this Narset. Yeah. Flabbergasted. Thank you, sir, for joining the clan. We appreciate it. Welcome to Awkward Manifests. Welcome to Awkward Manifests against Esper Control with four land. <laughs> Not good yeah, if you're a control player. Right? Like, like that's the thing, and and it's one of those decks. Like we said, Barry is uh, still like holding up though. It's it's crazy. He's got he's got a Narset out, and it's still not dead, and it's drawing him just a bunch of cards. Yeah, we're not a hundred percent sure if Noah did in fact sack the Whisperwood in response. Uh, uh, it was just kind of an assumption at that point. I believe he did. You think he did? There's no reason not to. I mean, if that's the case, then. Uh, Bad 007 is correct. Uh, he would Barry would not get the rebound from it because the spell does not resolve. Yeah, so I think it's just okay. Yeah, so that makes all the more sense then. Yeah. Um. But Barry does have it in exile. Well, right, and he so has it, a marker on top. So. Right. So does the. So if it doesn't resolve, having rebound, it just goes to the graveyard. Correct. Okay. So yeah. That should be the case then. So. I guess, given this game state, then Noah did not sack it. I would, I wouldn't believe he did. Which either. he absolutely should have. Yes. Yeah. Not, and, and if not seeing the fact of how rebound works, just doing it to ensure that the creatures you still have gain that ability to manifest more. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's just like it's extra value in case Barry has other stuff Agreed. or other things he's trying to do. So here's the rebounded hero's downfall. 
that was the only reason. I mean, both Noah and Barry are are very competent players. Yeah. Uh, I uh, so I'm I'm not against either one of them. Just uh, Noah might have overlooked that fact. Sure. Uh, Barry gonna choose his next target here. It'll be the Anafenza. A pretty prime target for that. We see a yeah. thoughts he's on top of Noah's deck. Barry finds his additional land finally. What will it allow him to cast? So uh -huh. minus two. Whatever it is, it's happening twice. Oh boy. Looks will like a, a uh, another removal. Another what what have we done here? Oh wow. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah. So we're gonna I like foul it. Tongue. This is it. Now, Foul Tongue Invocation is one black, two colorless instant speed. Reveal a dragon card from your hand while you cast it. Or if you control a dragon, I believe. As right? you cast it. Yeah. As you cast it. Uh, Foul Tongue Invocation requires target player to sacrifice a creature. And now Barry gains four. And then he gains four life, yep. correct? Because he had a dragon. So Barry will go yes, up to 16. He gained four being the upside. And now, as Barry casts it again yep. from rebound. Yeah. Uh, he has the option to just reveal the same. To reveal the same dragon. And it will still just be the Interesting same. Interesting that uh, Noah sacked the 2 2. Why didn't we sack the fleece main that was encased in ice? <sighs> I don't know. Does I, feel like, I feel like that's the thing to sacrifice <sighs> Does here. Noah I have I, a way to deal with it. Uh, deal with the encased in ice? Yeah. Uh, Ebbs and Charm? Can remove an enchantment, correct or not? No. No, can't. Not at all. Oh, boy. Maybe we have erases or something from the side? Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> oh, boy. Well, Just Noah's going to lead this turn off with a Thought Seize, dropping down to 20. I mean, maybe he has some sort of plan, but it's not getting rid of that in case. Unless he has, like, a Utter End or some other main deck. What did we take there? Did we take another Foul Tongue? Off of that, uh... No, so Narset revealed another Narset. I believe. Well, we just had a we just had a thought seize here from oh, Noah okay. targeting Barry. Oh, okay. All right, sorry. I'm taking um, notes. Yeah. <laughs> sorry, guys. <laughs> I know I know magic. You know magic. Sorry. You've seen people play turns. Yeah, from time to time. Well, Noah has an additional Nissa on top. So I think if we're if we're I mean this is all Barry has in hand, so I we might as well just start slamming these things. Oh yeah, that that thing's gotta die. And now the the next Narset that Barry plays is. Uh, as Noah can just monstrous this fleece main, yeah. is pretty much dead as well. Uh, it might net us an extra card, but paying four for it and essentially tapping out, yeah, is not, not ideal. Not where we want to be. Yeah. So I believe Noah just gonna throw it in this. Uh, oh, thank you. Cormy got me Drumaka's command. That'll take care of that okay. nasty enchantment. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Which I I believe I did see. So we're gonna show uh, the dragon again. Noah, Noah trying to fight it earlier yeah. on with that rhino. So yep. yeah, okay. Noah's gonna take a read here. Faltong invocation. Yep, you are sacking a creature, dude. And he is gaining four. And I'll control a dragon. So um, or, no, I'm just revealing it. Just yes. revealing the Ojutai again. Yep. Noah has to choose a creature to sack here. Is debating on the courser. I yeah, I guess. See, I don't know. I think. I think he's at a state where he has to abandon that fleece main who's encased. Well, it looks like, like he is he on it. Oh no, that's the second fleece main. I'm sorry. Yeah. This is this is the encased fleece main. Yeah, there's still still he's still out there. No, it's just kind of off to the side. Like, yeah, this isn't doing anything. Even though I'm not sacking it to your and effect. Dragon Lord Ojutai makes an appearance. Oh boy. Well, he's tapped out. Uh, uh, as we've said, we so. have managed to cast the Elspeth. If we're casting it, we're casting it, baby. We got to give up a land for it, but I'd slam and jam. I'd get, yeah, I'd cast else. Everybody, step up. Uh, Noah does lose his, yeah. He, he loses is. his land, but yeah. what? I, I think I'm okay with that trade. Barry's got one card in hand as least... the control deck. Yeah. What is that Nissa doing though? Uh, I guess getting us another land after. Yeah, I mean, just per making more land into yes. creatures. Yeah, so Noah's just. So Noah's going to go for the monstrous fleece main while Barry shields are down. Uh, and I like that play. That's okay, Barry too. with a lot of spot removal, wrath effects, and of which none deal with fleece main. Yeah, I would agree, Clayton. So, there are some strange plays this, uh, yeah, it's very, this game. It's very wonky, but, I mean... He's getting the job done. Yeah, Noah's doing it. For it's, sure. It's slow, but it's happening. It's, it's just kind of plotty. So we'll see a dig through time here for Barry. I can't imagine what he wants to hit. Some form of removal here. We got to start. Yeah. 
I think he's got to deal with these two uh, four fours. Uh, Crux's fate would be huge here. Yeah, Crux is a start uh, again. Though still left with a fleece main, which I don't know if Barry can actually deal with. Uh, not I don't think now that it's monstrous, at it's going to be yeah. it's going to be super hard to deal with. Yup, can't even uh, Solemngar it. So Barry, yep, he knows, knows he's done. Yep, that's it. No one's going to take game two. So wow, we'll move on to game three here with 17 minutes left in the finals for F and M. Yeah, so Noah got his seven, stuck with it, and just very slowly I uh, got Barry. Yeah. Barry, as you mentioned, though, was stuck on four lands for a while there. It's true. Uh, which is not ideal, I imagine, for a control deck. And that's, I think, where, where I met under my skin a little bit, as she, uh, where the past Jaces, yeah. even Jace the Living Guild Pack, yeah. allows you to look at the cards gets you, gets and then the gets you whatever you want. You know what yeah, I mean? Where yeah. Narset is very narrow-minded against drawing very certain types of cards. That's true. Yeah, I think if you're like, if you have an opening hand of Narset, and not like, let's say like three lands, like, mm -hmm. it's not that thing where if it was a Jace, you'd be like, oh, okay, this is fine. Sure. It's yeah, it is very. Uh, it's a diva. It is. It's a yeah. Diva card. Yes, it is. Very much so. It needs a lot of the right things, to kind of be efficient. I mean, and what it is though, arguably, it's super good. Oh, very, yeah. very like high risk reward type situation for a control deck. Are you talking in, about in our set? Talking about our set? Yeah. yeah, I agree. Actually, coincidentally, as we were talking about that Jeskai control deck earlier, that's our six drop. Is mm -hmm. old in our set? Oh yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you like you like rebound uh, in uh, playing into new planeswalker in our yeah. set. Yeah, sure. you like playing into uh, you know gonna oh I'm gonna rebound some. Dig through times. That's great. I'm going to uh, swing with my three-two hexproof first striker, and then I'm going to just rain free spells. Reveal like, Narset. <laughs> yeah. Play Narset. Minus Face it. Narset. Play Rebound it. another. Oh, jeez. <laughs> okay, that's pretty big. You're thinking big now. Yeah. We're on the same page. See, Clayton knows what's up. Clayton's my guy. Yeah. Minus two for for bouncing the fleece main with uh, with living guild pack. Oh yeah. 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 That yeah, card, I feel a, like that card was. Chase, you know? I feel like that card was vastly underrated. A lot of people gave that card flack, and I don't think any of the people who gave it flack actually played with it. That's yeah, the thing. Is like, they were all like, "Oh, well, this Jace is terrible, and what a bad Jace!" And then nobody played the card. No. So everybody was sitting there talking about how bad the Jace was, well, and like that's understandable. Like, okay, so obviously he's not as good as RTR Jace. We get it. Yeah, we know. Like, <laughs> all of us know. <laughs> you guys know. We know. But like. How are you going to sit there and not test a card and be like, ugh, disgusting? Yeah, exactly. I mean, it's just, it seems completely negative. I mean, bounce a permanent? Bounce a permanent. I mean, okay, yeah. What? What's wrong now with, like, these soul tie lists that we're seeing? What's wrong with, with look at the top two cards in my library. I don't know, put the one I want to whip back into my yard. Yep. Sure. <laughs> yeah, it seems, seems really good. And I, I guess... Yeah, I, board. yeah, I don't know. Just any whip deck. Yeah, whatever. With blue, which just uh, try much, it, yeah, man. Um, Heaven forbid if there was rebound in this form or if there was a flashback, people would be going nuts. They'd be like, "Oh my god, jeez, flashback! <laughs> this is amazing." <laughs> rebound. Why? Well, yeah, I meant flashback. Rebound. No, I because like if you flashback, live in guild pack, you throw a flashback spell in the yard. And oh flashback. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I hear you. I'm on the page with you now. Starting to like Jace a little more. Yeah, see, they knew Delve was coming. Man, see, Clayton's got my back. Dang, this guy's about it. This guy's like... Clayton. See, this is why we have good followers here yeah. on Twitch. On this is why you game. guys should follow if you haven't, because of guys he's, like him. I think he's our honorary third commentator at this point. Our honorary... He's yeah, just, he could be. He's I just mean, calling all the like the things. He's been spot on. He's backing us up. I, I like, like it. it. So these two players here going into game three. Going to see a final cut and shuffle from Noah Cohen. Yeah. For all the marbles. I'm watching his hands there. Look at him. Yep. Don't look down at the table. Look away from your deck. What What was that? Oop, oop. What was that? Sneaky. Watch him. Sneaky Noah Cohen. Those, yeah, look at those sneaky hands. Sneaky like a snake. Awesome. What was that? What was that shuffle? Where would you learn that? Uh -huh. See, now he went to the Pro Tour, so now he's got all these fancy shuffles. That's what happens, just, man. You go to the Pro Tour. Welcome, welcome to the, uh, the Twitch stream, guys. Uh, Tonight, so, uh, so tonight cool. we're uh, showcasing the many shuffling skills of Noah Cullen. Of Noah Cullen. And uh, thanks for coming by. Barry Cohen, on the other hand, also I will shuffle some... my deck once. Yeah. <laughs> <Barry's> <laughs> I've like, shuffled it. I have achieved what I need to. Barry's like, what are we, at the Pro Tour guy? Come on. Come on, guy. 
to your stuff. Oh, there's a Mastery of Unseen for Noah, but that is a lot of land. So he might... Oh, he's decided to keep it. That's, okay. Yeah, that's fine. Sure. Land heavy against the control. Land okay. heavy is, is totally fine. Um, yeah, especially against control. You always gotta watch him. Matter fan, you never know. Nice. You gotta keep an eagle's eye. Super sneaky. Super sneaky. Wearing those uh, like cargo shorts. I mean, uh, yeah. What's in how, those many pockets. how many cards uh, could be in those pockets? Um, I'm gonna say around 100. Uh, there could be a lot. Roughly. So Both who, players knows, who knows what comes out and <laughs> ends up in Noah's hand just conveniently, you know? Ooh, here's a Mastery of the Unseen from him. Noah early on. Now, this is a card that we were saying Barry does not have a lot to deal with. No, that's the start. That's the start we need. But Barry here, finding his land pretty easily, needs to find a source of white to turn on the colors. Yeah. Decides we're just going to stick with the black he's there. Got, he's got blue and black, though, which this deck is pretty lenient on. Yeah, fine on running on. Yep. Let's go fetch, Noah says. I think Noah going to drop out his courser here, and then he's going to start having the valuable information of knowing what's on top of his deck to see if it's worth manifesting. Yeah, probably. Pretty interesting uh, interaction there. Again, though, maybe there's the uh, situation where it doesn't matter what it is, it's getting manifested. Sure. So it's nice to know what it is, though. The unfortunate thing is that really just benefits Barry. I mean, it benefits your opponent also. Yeah, yeah for sure. Unless... <sighs> Never mind. I was gonna, I was going to bring up a card I used in Limited one time, but it's not even worth it. I was gonna bring up Jeskai Infiltrator. Oh, okay. The card yeah, that yeah. lets you the card that lets you shuffle up your manifest creatures. <laughs> yeah, super good. Guess which yeah. one is which. <laughs> oh, I'd love Jeskai Infiltrator. Yeah, I can see that. You would. Yeah. Yeah, a little underdog. Card's, card's pretty funny. Yeah, it does uh, work in limited. Sure. We'll see a counter spell here to the Corsair. Barry okay. going to scry to the bottom, not what he mm. wanted to see. So blanking a turn for Noah, I'm okay with that. Uh, it's an aggressive use of his counter though. It is. I guess, yeah. Maybe he's trying to force him into a situation where he has to... Tap out control. Yeah. yeah. I can't imagine that's actually Pugface in Barry's hand. Did he sideboard that in specifically because of the Elsmith? Uh, I think it's Elder Pugface, not Dragonlord Pugface, but like old, old Pugface. Pugface? That does get around Elspeth quite efficiently. So Noah's going to manifest a card here. Draw for turn. Draws into Anissa. So his, his high-level hand... Yep. Or high land hand, I'm sorry, is paying off. I say it's pretty high level. Yeah, oh, yeah. that too. Yeah, it's got it's got some value. Well, now we can get some beats. Especially with those uh, unglued lands, those full arts, you know. Yeah, you don't like those? Get on my level. Uh, I'm a fan of full arts. Are you? Yeah, absolutely. Planes, beautiful. I'm a fan of foil MPS lands. Yeah, those are they're very expensive. Okay, so they won't, they're not, yeah, I mean, they're not, I'm not playing them in standard. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let no, me tell you, I do no, like no, picking no. out new lands, though. I've sure. I've kind of bounced back and forth between full art lands and and just cool looking lands because uh, some of these Konzatar gear and Fate Reforged lands have actually been really sweet. Some of the mountains in this set are beautiful. Mm. I can agree with that. Yeah, pretty big on the dragons lands too. Yeah, you like they the got a lot ones? of uh, yeah. Like if you look at the art, there's a lot of like remnants of yes. the old uh, tri lands. Yes, and they're kind of just like crumbled and it's very cool. Emerged with the landscape. Yeah, I think it's very cool. Sir Alexander the Great, joining the clan here, baby. Thanks for the follow. Welcome to the showdown of manifesting my opponent who is doing nothing. But this is what we said. I mean, this is this is the card that hurts Barry. Like, yeah. this is a card that is hard for his control deck to deal with, especially when he has no white. We can do start wasting downfalls on manifested creatures. I mean, look at Noah's hand, too. It's just... As soon as Barry does start doing that, uh, Noah's got Siege Rhinos, Nissa's Elspeths. Yeah. I mean, I, he's... <laughs> Go ahead, Barry. Tap out. And like, see, that's a card. On board. I, I just did he just, and he might have too. So he anticipates, looking for some answers. That was the lane we decided to play, the uh, Spirit Haven. Yeah. Now, interesting card we haven't seen from Barry, just in any of the matches, whether it's round one or some of the earlier stuff. We haven't seen a uh, an Ugin at all. I uh, no, no Ugins. Uh, a good reason to run that that Dragon Land, yeah. the Haven, because it does bring back Ugin or any dragon. But yeah, I don't know. That's... These manifests now are just tearing us apart. Yeah, it's pretty brutal. So I, I don't know what Barry's answer is to these cards. Yeah, Noah's sitting pretty. I mean, his hand is loaded. As soon as Barry does anything, Noah's just going to just just up the game. Oh, I yeah, mean, like... of course. Like, Barry's going to take a turn off to Cruxafate or something like that? Here we go. <laughs> yep. And now this next turn cannot... 
I think he's just dead. So honestly. you know what? You I know what's optimal here. I think Noah's gonna manifest. Yeah. And then. He... Oh. <laughs> okay. Oh. So decides not to. No, because because he's gonna manifest on a turn. Yep. And then he's gonna play Siege Rhino. Sure. And he's gonna get in for two with this manifest. And maybe eh, so. Barry probably about on two turns now. Mm -hmm. Seven minutes left in the round here. Yeah, so, I mean, Barry, not dead. I don't think either of these guys want to go to time. No. It doesn't do much. They might as well have just drawn. Well, I, they couldn't, remember? Well, right, but now they just... Now, they, they well, just right, are, yeah, maybe. they don't... That's what I'm saying. I guess they don't want to... In the not fun way. Where, where you can just go out and get some food. <laughs> because you just drew with your opponent. Apparently Twitch is running a commercial during our uh, our stream that I cannot mute. Oh, okay. Well, that happens. At least, at least you guys don't have to hear it. I have to hear it, though. Well, that's fun. I don't hear anything, if that makes you feel better. Well, that's good. Yeah. That's just, great. Good for you. I'm just saying. <laughs> I thought you'd like to know. All right, so yeah, Noah, starting with the manifest on the turn. I think he's just debating on his next play while Barry's tapped out. Uh, I imagine it'll involve... An attack from this 2-2. Yep. And, yeah, I think he's like, do I run out of Elspeth here, or do I just start beating with Rhinos? Boy, I, I thought Noah for sure was going to have some crazy play where he's, like, flipping up manifest yeah, like, creatures, like, flip up a Rhino, flip yeah, up, like, a... Yeah, because that flip the Rhino arguably would be a good play because just the getting, game. getting, yeah, getting the Helix off, sure. and then, like, Next turn, playing another Rhino. Barry's already at two instead of, like, six down to... F yeah, so, like, I guess little edge in life. Oh. Where Noah puts him from two sure. instead of three, I, you know. A foil MPS land is a uh, type of land that was released through different uh, outlets throughout uh, the Magic tournament scene, uh, whether it be from Japan, whether it be from, uh, you know, a... Pro Series over here. Uh, it's just a certain basic type of land that I prefer to use in my Legacy decks because I like the way that the islands and plains look. They also have the giant letters MPS in the text box. Yeah. So, so there's the shuffle up. What did Barry have in his hand? So uh, for those catching so, up, Noah... So there is an utter end. Noah dropped in this uh, made yeah. a land. A guy brought Barry down to two. Barry was like, I'll utter end, and Noah said, all right, well, I have a siege right now. And that so, was it. Good luck. And Barry's like, yep. Noah you, Cohen. You got it. Taking the FNM by storm tonight. We didn't even have him on before this, and he managed to uh, sneak on through the brackets there. Yep. Was playing some good magic. Apparently. Also, he's just playing Abzan. So, yes. I mean, good job. Definitely. You picked... You picked the right deck. You picked arguably the best deck. The best deck in, in this game. Format. Why not? Why not play the best? And uh, you guys can certainly see that put on display here easily. Yeah, we've seen both Abs and decks tonight just make work. I mean, Barry Cohen putting up uh, obviously good numbers with this Esper control list. Yeah, I think I still think it's a really good deck. Probably needs a little bit of tuning there, but uh, well, sure. Yeah. I don't know. I, I guess yeah. I liked I liked Barry's earlier game where sure. we really saw the the power of those dragon mode spells. Yeah. And just Ojutai and Silumgar in general and Narset Planeswalker just really doing work. In this matchup, a little, little slower. Needs a little more steam, I think. Yeah. Or it needs to just take the role of a more hard control deck. Dang. Three so. new members to the clan straight off the bat. Thank you, Hawkman. Welcome, Welcome guys. Benoit. Well, yeah, well, that was good, man. We got the Abzan domination. This is it, baby. This is where we're playing Abzan. I mean, in the finals there, you can kind of see Noah throwing out uh, what looks to be yeah, just so just his bio blades. Yep, his his bad removal that has no targets. Here's what I took out. Bringing Here's what in, I brought in. Bringing in our duresses, our thought seizes, our masteries. Like we said, yeah, I mean, yep, we we got this. I agree. We know how to play Abzan, guys. I like it, man. That this Abzan deck really just doing a number on standard currently. I I think the only thing that I can really uh, Really, see what kind of push the envelope would probably be with those those boss sly decks is really what you're seeing that have kind of come out to take the take the fights against these guys. Yeah, it seems like one of those decks that can go toe to toe with Abzan, mm -hmm. uh, but it gets a little muddled in the rest of the meta. I yeah. mean, it's 
because it is like a very fringe type deck right now. And arguably, decks have a lot of tools to deal with strategies like that, mm -hmm. like Drown in Sorrow, like Biolite. Uh, but you know, man, I think this has been a, this was actually probably one of the best F and M's I've seen uh, recently after Dragons of Tarkir was released. Yeah. Oh, I mean, we saw we saw the power of a lot of different Dragons cards. Definitely. I mean, super good. Really good Magic tonight. Super impactful in this format. I feel like a lot of established decks kind of get their tools, mm -hmm. and we see a few new decks as a result too, which is I think what you expect from a third set of a block. Sure. Usually. Definitely. Yeah. So. It'll be it'll be interesting to see how this kind of progresses. I I like the idea that the fact that Star City Games kind of had that invitational so early on, mm -hmm. uh, so people were really scrambling to kind of throw these decks together and make something happen. Sure. Pretty sweet. Pretty fun to watch. Standards. Pretty fun. Yeah. Right Most, now. Definitely. Say, yeah. Well, guys, that's the end of our broadcast for tonight. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you to all the clan members who joined us in Clan NRG mm -hmm. and made the night even more successful. You'll have to tune in continually as we bring you F&Ms regularly and then SCG events that Nerd Rage Gaming hosts down the line. I can't thank you enough. If you guys didn't have a chance to go ahead and make sure you follow the channel. Make sure you follow me and Matt here on Twitter. Both of the Twitter links just posted in chat. Yeah, you always want to make sure Perfect you guys timing are too. staying timing, too. That always. admin, he's on top That's of it. That's it. That admin knows what he's doing. All right, guys. Well, we're signing off for tonight, so from the rest of us here at Nerd Rage Gaming Live, take care. Take care, guys.